Hey guys, how you doing? This is Manga Etc and I'm here today to bring you the view for Sakuma today's Manga Chapter 129. Don't watch the hair! <laughs> Yeah, well, I just had to throw that in there, but let's just talk about the chapter and I'm basically going to take you through the chapter and just my thought process while I was reading the chapter. So we start things off, Akira and, hmm, who is this person? We don't know, we're not quite sure anymore, but I'm going to take you through it as I was reading it. So we have um, Akira and X, they're squaring off. Akira's giving that, I'm going to kill you to avenge my, um, is it her auntie? But she's giving that speech anyway, so I was like, alright, cool, yeah, fair enough, this is what I was expecting, I'm not surprised yet, um, I'm, this is what I was expecting, it's going as I thought it would go. And then, just before things could kick off, in hops in Team Sakamoto, and I was thinking, okay, hmm, well, I was expecting them to turn up, but they're a bit early, but again, not moving too far out of my expectations, and they've come in there, they want to do the basic, they basically want to be in and out, grab a care up, and out kind of thing. Does it go that way? Hell no. <laughs> but that's what they attempt, and... Um, well, they attempted this, some sort of like disruption happened, so they can't do it as effectively. Mr. Movies, as I call him, he gets involved as well. Again, still not moving too far out of my expectations. And then we've got Akira. She's using the, or the whole of this of confusion to get in an attack, and it seemed like a vital one. Uh, again, not moving out of my expectations too, too much. When I saw this attack go in, I was thinking to myself, yeah, it's not going to be that easy. It never is. Doesn't matter what series you're what series you're reading or watching, it never is that easy. So I was thinking, oh, okay, so what is going to happen next? And that's when I was taken by surprise. That is when I was taken by surprise because this person X apparently is Rion. And at first I was thinking, okay, oh my gosh, how did X steal Rion's personality? I literally thought. <laughs> That her personality, her very essence, her being, maybe her even a soul, but I was, well, my thought process was personality, had been stolen by X. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, how did this happen? But as you read on with the chapter, it's basically, I don't want to say it's 100% confirmed, but it's basically hinting towards us. Basically, I feel like the Mangaka wants us to think that, that this is Rion. So I'm not surprised that Rion is still alive. I'm more surprised, the more my surprise mainly lies in the fact that how they done it. Because if she was still alive, I mean, she's alive, clearly, clearly she's alive. But basically, I thought that, my thought process before reading this chapter was that her reveal of being alive would be like her as we, as we last saw her, basically a little bit older, like, you know, her looks, basically. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting her to be looking like X. But that's essentially what we got. So that's not too much of a surprise. I'm kind of wondering where I did it. I need to go back and yeah, she had titties, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of where where where, where, where they went. But um, it's not a surprise for her to be looking like someone. Uh, especially if they're working with each other, they could be using this as a, a, a ruse. Is that what I'm looking for? But they could be using it for like a specific, a specific reason. So it's not. Um, too too surprising on that on on that aspect, but I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting that if she is still alive, to um just be looking like her normal self kind of thing. But it seems like it's basically I don't want to say one hundred percent confirmed yet, but it's looking that way that she's still alive. So that just opens up a can of worms even more so than it did before. What happened after the point in the flashback um that we saw? What happened after that? And because I remember having this conversation, well not conversation, but it came up in the comment section of the last um, review is that, um, what do I think happened to Rio? And I thought, I thought that uh, she had an ulterior motive. After reading this chapter, it seemed like she has villainous, villainous intent, villainous intent. So it's really a matter of like, what happened after what we saw in the flashback and why exactly has she turned on her friends and why did she, well, Sakamoto and why did she put that hit out so these questions were there before but even more so after reading this chapter so yeah that's everything I basically got to say about it so it started off as an average read I wasn't expecting too much I was just reading it casually calm and calmly and it's only when we got that reveal of the possibility the high possibility of Rian still being alive I was like imagine you know when you're relaxed and something catches your attention like, huh? 
that's exactly what I did as I was reading the chapter and it's for that it's because of those reasons I reckon this chapter is better than your average Joe so I give it a better than average rating of a four star rating and like always guys I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please subscribe to my YouTube channel but most importantly take care have a nice day Thank you.